As the cloud manager platform and all of our data services have a monthly release cadence, it's getting a bit challenging to keep up to date with all of our latest and greatest. So I decided to make this video for you to keep you up to date with the highlights of what was just released this week with the Cloud Manager June release, Cloud Backup Service, DataSense, Cloud Tiering, and more. Let's kick it off. Remember the days that you need to configure one thing on Cloud Manager and then switching to System Manager to manage something else? These days are over. You can now just double click on the working environment and click on advanced view and you will get the system manager. Another pretty cool feature is our recommendation engine. If you look at the bell, you can see you have a notification, right? That will trigger different notification. And this release, we focused on how to save you money, which means we're detecting unoptimized aggregates, unoptimized drives, and how to save costs. You see that bell, click it. It's free, why not? As you know, you were able to restore specific files if their backup were hosted on AWS or on Azure, but you couldn't do that on Google or Storage Grid. So from today, you can actually restore from everywhere specific files. We did an amazing architectural changes, but and we actually took the containers running on the Cloud Restore instance you see here on the screen, and we consolidated it into the Cloud Manager Connector. Amazing. Now it can literally run everywhere, less endpoints, less hassle, less infrastructure. It's unbelievable. It can be even simpler. Hmm. That's cool. So you can now do drag and drop to activate different services, such as protecting your ONTA system. Let's have a look. Okay. Cloud Volumes on Tap had a major release. 9.11.1 is out in the wild, and that allows us to do amazing things. For example, inline storage efficiencies came for the first time for CVO, and that will provide better saving while actually increasing the performance for the majority of workloads. 9.11.1 allows us also to start protecting objects. So if you're using Cloud Backup for protecting to Story Grid or to AWS, you can now lock the object and protect from any kind of rogue admins or any mistake. Elastic volume for CVO in AWS is a major improvement. And it's because today you can just change the disk size instead of adding disk and do vol moves and any types of maintenance that can create a lot of IOPS on your system. You can just replace the drives and get a larger capacities. Multi-admin verify allows ONTAP to block any actions until two admins will approve it. And that will make your data much, much safer. So no more deleting snapshot without other people knowing about it, no more deleting volumes. Your data is safe. That's the same for fighting ransomware autonomously. ONTAP can now use advanced machine learning algorithm to detect anomalies in your data patterns and create instant snapshot in case if it will detect any ransomware attack. That's pretty awesome. With 9.11.1, you can actually run ONTAP S3 on CVO for AWS as well. So that means that CVO can run and support SMB, NFS, iSCSI and S3 protocol, all as a unified storage solution across all the different hyperscalers. It's pretty nice to know that now we can support CVO for AWS running on shared VPC deployment. Yeah, this time is finally came and it's out here. And if it's talking about something which is out, now we have new regions. We have Jakarta region on AWS, Milan region for GCP and Brazil Southeast on Azure. If you have some chain supply issues, if you want to optimize your storage span, you want to make sure cold data will not be kept on expensive SSD drives, cloud tiering is the option to go. 
and we support new archive tier on AWS. It's called Instant Retrieval. And a new TCO calculator will help you determine if it's really worth your while or not. So play around with it and check if it's meeting your requirements. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next month.